Who doesn't like a good Dollar General challenge? Oh yeah, you know. I'm gonna go in here and grab a couple things to use for bait, and uh, then we'll get to the creek. Well, I got my Dollar General stuff, and I already knew one of the things I was gonna get, and it's just corn. Um, I, last I, last time I fished here with corn, I caught a nice carp, and that's what I'm going for today. And I see all kinds of, I think they're carp hanging out in this little calm area. And I also picked up some chicken hot dogs, or uh, what are they? Made with chicken and pork hot dogs. And I never have much luck with these. I never, I never do very well with hot dogs. I've only had a little bit of luck with corn. So both these things aren't things that I use a ton and aren't very good with, but we're gonna try it out today. Hopefully gonna catch um, a carp and maybe some catfish. I'm gonna throw a few pieces of corn out here. Yeah, I'm just gonna toss it right off, right out in front of me. I got the uh, mother rod with the hot dog just right over there. Put a few pieces of corn on there and hopefully they get hooked. All right, so both my rods are set up. The corn is right in front of me. Hot dog is right over there. It's a pretty deep channel right here coming off the river. And I've already seen a bunch of fish swimming through, big fish like those over there. I think those are, those may be carp. There's some big old, I just see the big old dark shadows over there. Maybe gar, but I'm pretty sure there's carp and gar coming through here. All right, if I can catch a, if I catch a fish off this before I catch one of other stuff, I'm gonna give something away. Uh, let's try a piece. I got one piece of corn on there. Oh, we didn't catch very well. Oh, yes! Boom! I didn't know the bluegill would hit it like that. Oh, that's a red breast. I had one little piece of corn on the small hook, and uh, he just hammered it. All right, one little piece of corn on that little hook right there, red breast. We'll let him go now. I might try to catch some more for bait a little bit later, but I'm still trying to catch one on the hot dog. All right, I'm giving something away. All right, so we're gonna do a giveaway. I was talking to PC Fun about doing a giveaway, and it's a perfect time to do it because this is this is a great uh, example of when to use a reel like this. This is the the uh, PC Fun Carbon X 1000. It's a really smooth uh, reel. I keep it on. I usually use it on my ultralight setup. I got four pound line on it right now. All right, so we're waiting on, we're still waiting on bites over here. Hopefully you're gonna get something else. But to win this reel, all you gotta do is just comment down below uh, something about what you do when you're catfishing, what you do to pass the time. Me, I'm always got a reel like this, and I'm just trying to catch fish while I'm waiting on a bigger fish, you know, something to pass the time. But um, also you have to uh, just like the, uh, the PC Fun um, Facebook page, and also sub to the PC Fun YouTube channel. I'll put the links in there below. And uh, I've been working for the PC Fund for a while. I really appreciate them letting me be able to do things like this and uh, you know be able to give back a little bit. This is, um, I think it's like a, se it's about a $70 reel. It's it's really nice, I like it. It's really smooth. The, the 1000 size, the five one to one gear ratio. But uh, enough of that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some more corn on here trying to catch some panfish. Hopefully get a carp or a catfish. That's what we're really going for today. That, I thought that was a carp. That's a huge largemouth bass. That's like a three, four pound largemouth bass right there. That's a huge carp. I don't know if it shows up or not. That, that's like a 10 pound carp. There was a, bat, a big old, there was two big largemouths that were swimming through. I just looked up. Come on, come on, here he is, here he is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. He came up like he was gonna hit it. What's the deal? Come on, come on. Oh, he keeps following it. Yeah. Stay on there, stay on there. Ah, oh, there was a bigger one. I came back over here where I saw those bass. I hit the water and I saw a big one come at it and a little one come at it at the same time. Maybe that, oh, there's a couple big ones. Dude, there's some big bass right there. I don't know if I'll get them in on this setup, but uh, I'd love to see them hit it. All right, get off there. All right, a little large mouth. Hit it. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! 
Did you see that? Oh, that was a giant. That was like a three, four pound bass. Oh, that's aggravating. But I got him to hit anyways. There was two of them there. Well, I moved over to a second location that I hadn't been before. It's about 15 minutes away from where I was. Another little creek that my buddy Chris told me about. And uh, here I'm gonna start out with a hot dog. It's a shallower water, but it's more, more of a creek style than the first place I was at. Oh, yeah. There he is right there. Bluegill. All right, number two on the corn. I got the hot dog over there. Cast it out. Let me try this corn for a little while. There we go. A little bluegill. I just started throwing a little ultralight at this spot. And yeah, a little um, crappie jig. Got a little bluegill. We'll catch a couple here and then we might, I got another spot we might hit up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Man, this spot, spot down here is loaded with bluegill. That was a pretty good one. Oh, we have moved to the third location. I still haven't got a catfish, but this is probably one of our best places to get something. So I'm gonna go back with the hot dog. A little chunk of hot dog on there. I need to get something off this hot dog. Oh yeah. Hey, we're back on the panfish. We probably caught 30 sunfish between us at that last spot. So I, I still need to get a catfish, but I can't stop just, you know, catching fish. Just fishing with whatever until something else bites. My whole video is supposed to be a catfish video. It's gonna turn into a, uh, whole video is gonna turn into a pan fishing video. <laughs> Man, this thing is killing them. That little light jig head, I got one 64 ounce jig head, a little pan fish assassin. And this bluegill just can't turn it down. What was that? Crappie! I felt a little bigger. I moved down just a little ways. And um, I was like, that's something else, not a bluegill. <laughs> well, I can wear out some panfish. Now I'm kind of looking for crappie. I'm trying to just see what all we can get now. Oh! What do you got? Oh, it's a red breast? Big red breast. <laughs> Those things pull so hard. I think it's Dude, thick. Thing has got some color. Yeah. That's a, man, that's a big one. Stop. You think you got a big old bass when they hit? Yeah. A little trout magnet crawl. What? Oh! Wait, what is this? Oh, nice! That's the first red ear. I like catching red, red ear are fine. They're just, yeah, they are. there's something different about red ear. They're real similar to a bluegill, but they're like more like the red breast. They're like, more attitude. yeah, they're just feisty. They're thicker. That's a pretty cool red, uh, red ear right there. Nice. Oh. Did you get some big rock bass out of that Chattanooga Creek or whatever at that bridge? Hey, what is this one? Oh, that's a bluegill, but it looks a little different. He's got more. I don't know. That could be a pumpkin seed, cause it's it's kind of like. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not a bluegill. It's it's either a hybrid or something. Hybrid or a pumpkin seed, maybe. Probably a hybrid. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Fisher stick. Come here. What have we got? Oh, check that out. Dude, war, war mouth. Yeah, that is a nice looking one. On some war, that's a big war mouth too. That's an awesome looking war mouth. Oh, got to get a picture of that one. Just another species fishing off the bridge here. I love fishing in a place like this. You just never know what you're going to catch. Obviously not going to catch catfish, the things you're going for. 
But if you throw, start throwing panfish lures around, you just get all kinds of different fish. That's a cool looking warm mouth. Those are pretty cool fish. Look at that mouth. All right, so does this spot look familiar? Because this is the first place I came today and I'm coming back because I still ain't got a catfish. I haven't got a single catfish. I got all kinds of other fish, but uh, I'm throwing this little piece of cut bait out there and I just want to get a catfish in. That's all I want. Oh, man, there's three giant bass. Oh my, that one is, dude, there's a bass over here that's like a six or seven pounder. No joke. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a bunch of carp over here, but there's a couple of bass. Holy cow, that's bigger than the ones I saw earlier. They're right on the left side of this tree. There's like a couple of good ones and there's one that's like a seven pound. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go with a little topwater lure. Yeah, I got a couple of lures I might try. Yeah! Oh, yes! I got a big one! Oh! I don't know if he's big, I don't know how big he is, he's pretty big. Don't come off, don't come off. Don't come off. I just saw him up under a tree, casted a crawl over at him. It's about the size of the one I lost earlier. He might not be a giant, but he seems pretty good size. Oh yeah. Get over here, get over here. I'll take him. Whew. Nice. That's a pretty good bass. Inhaled the Nico Craw. That ain't the six, seven pounder that I saw. I saw one bigger than this, but I'll take this guy. Well, it's a good thing I came back to this spot. No giant bass, but really cool to catch this one and seeing those other ones are awesome. He was just over two pounds. He's got some kind of big old sore thing and his, his bottom lip is just, there's no teeth left. I don't know what he's been eating on, but he looks really healthy though. Good thick bass. Well, I'm trying to decide if this day was a failure or success. I didn't get the carp or catfish. I probably caught about 40 sunfish and um, that one pretty good bass, two and a quarter pound uh, largemouth here at the end. And I saw some giants in here. So I had a fun day. Uh, I probably spent five, six hours fishing. Went to three different spots. Um, caught fish at every spot. So um, uh, yeah, I'm giving away that reel. Um, I, I said what to do at the beginning. Just do that stuff. Put that comment in there. And um, I'll pick someone here uh, probably within four or five days, something like that. So thanks for watching.